We thank you, Lord, that today as we're studying your word, Lord, it is you who's teaching us. Who, you who's making this teaching extremely simple and easy for us to understand it and apply it in our life, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That you love, you care for us. And, and your mighty works are always there for us, Lord. And we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done for us on the cross, what you have accomplished for us, what you have done for us, for that, so that we may be free from sin and we might live for righteousness. And Lord Jesus, as we're gathered here today to study your word, your word says, where two or three are gathered, you are in our midst. And today, Lord, you are in our midst. You are the one who's teaching us this wonderful truth. And this truth is a thing that sets us free from every lie of the devil. Lord Jesus, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. In in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there a disturbance on my side now? No. Now it's okay. Praise God. Let's go to Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. I cannot say because I'm not ghost. Okay. Then I'll read you. I'll lead it. Praise God. Your mommy has to make me ghost. Okay. okay. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You're the ghost now. You can do it. Who's here? Chapter 4. Who's here? Yeah, you can read it. Just make it, yeah, just make it a little bit bigger, you know. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay. You can read it. Okay. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because though I have reject, as rejected knowledge, so I will reject thee, that thou shall be not pleased to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, so I will forget thy children. Okay, we just need a little bit of the scripture. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you has rejected knowledge. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, does this scripture say, my people are destroyed for lack of prayer? No. No. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Knowledge. Is knowledge. So, when it says, my people Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. When it says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, we pray so much. We pray 24 hours 7, 24 bar 7. Jesus heal me. Jesus heal me. When he will heal me. Jesus heal me. Right? Yes. Yeah. But that prayer doesn't have the correct knowledge. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God, thank you. The prayer does not have the correct knowledge because does this scripture say Jesus will heal me? Yes. No. Yes, you know? No. Right? No. No. It says, my people, it says that we are already healed. That's why the scripture is saying, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So the knowledge that we have received 
Now we are, we have fed ourselves day and night, day and night, day and night with the knowledge of this world. Correct? Yes. yes. The only way we have. But now, you know, once we feed ourselves with the knowledge, now the knowledge becomes a stronghold. And that's why it says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What knowledge? The knowledge of the word of God. And okay, you can not, do not take it down. Just keep it up. We will, we will go read it more and more. Okay? Praise God. So my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What? Just a second. Okay. Something okay. happened. Okay. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Why are they destroyed? Because we have fed, fed ourselves with the knowledge of this world. And that's why we don't have the knowledge of God. Example, I'll give an example. We can eat two kinds of food, right? Junk food, unhealthy food or healthy food, correct? Yes. In the same way, I can eat the knowledge of God, or I can feed myself with the knowledge of God, or I can feed myself with the knowledge of this world. We, most of the time, we feed ourselves with the knowledge of this world. We have fed ourselves. And that's why it is, uh, and now we are trying to feed ourselves with the knowledge of God because, the, because this knowledge of this world is trying to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Yes. So we need to cast down that. Casting down imagination. So I have to cast down imagination. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So two things I have to cast down. Imag wrong imaginations. Imagination not in line with the word. And the knowledge of this world. That I have to cast it down. And that's why the scripture says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Why? Because we have got, we have not got the knowledge which is according to the word of God. We have not got the knowledge according to the word, to God, to God, the knowledge of God. Now, I cannot know God physically. I cannot, you know, eternal life means knowing God, right? Yes. So if you say knowing God, can I know him physically? No. I can only know him through his word. Means, I can only get the knowledge of God through his word. Because I cannot see God physically. I cannot feel God physically. Or I cannot hear him. Right? I cannot taste him. Or I cannot smell him physically. But God is something spiritual. He is something in the unseen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And that's why I need his word. Because I can't see him physically. Can you see God? Is he sitting next to you? No? But, you know, but the word of God says, okay, I'll give an example. Now, God is saying, I've give, give, he's given his angels charge over you. Can you see the angels? No, right? You cannot see them. But how do you know them? Because the scripture says, what does the scripture say? Psalm 91, 11 and 12. The God has given his angels charge over me and they keep me in all my ways. Right? They shall bear me up in their hands. Lest me dash my foot against the stone. To avoid me dash my foot against the stone. So he's around us. The angels are around us. Can we see them though? No. We can't see them. But we have the correct knowledge. Now how will a person okay, uh, see signs and uh, how will a person see signs and wonders? Will he just see like that? No. He can only see it with the knowledge. He can only see the signs and wonders practically in his life, only to the knowledge he has. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay. So, when you say knowledge, okay, knowledge is the information I get, right? Yes. So, what knowledge I have, I will believe it. What knowledge I have, I'll believe it. So, whether I have the knowledge of God, I'll believe it. Whether I have the knowledge of 
of the evil i'll believe it my faith is based on the knowledge which i have my faith is based on the knowledge i have i can have the knowledge of god or i can have the knowledge of evil now god cannot force me just to have the knowledge of god he has given us a freedom of choice which one do we want to choose right choose life choose that life is a connection with god how can i be connected with god through his word choose that this connection from god how to the knowledge of the world praise god thank you jesus so in this world the, we are fed ourselves with the knowledge of the evil and that's why we we find it so hard to pull out that knowledge to get it out to throw it away it is because all these years we have fed ourselves with that knowledge what knowledge knowledge i'm sick you know knowledge what we can see you know there are two ways the knowledge can enter one is through a human a human being your friends family relatives anybody or through a thing an object please god so when people speak to you they speak so many things right they speak that this they you know now they speak all about covid 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 if you if you go to somebody they will tell wow look at this virus they will speak put knowledge and so through objects now i things problems are things now when you say the knowledge of evil comes through things don't think that the knowledge of god also comes through things no the word of god is not a thing always remember this the word of god is never a thing the word of god is a person is a human you know most of the time we feel like the holy spirit is a thing he's not a thing he's a person and the word is holy spirit's word and that's why he will confirm his own word what he preached his own word is the word of god which he preached he will confirm it with signs and wonders he only needs a physical body that is us it's not we who's preaching it's not me who's preaching it is the holy spirit but why can't he come physically and preach because he needs a body he needs man to cooperate to give to give access because the dominion has been given to man a man has a choice whether he wants to agree with the holy spirit and start his ministry of preaching the gospel a ministry of reconciliation or he wants to stay in the knowledge of the world and feed himself more about the knowledge of the world and preach the knowledge of the world you know this happened that happened you know gossiping also is a big thing this happened that happened this happened that happened right the preaching now you know this happened here that happened there they feel that they have, they have, or you know it's just like when you learn the word okay somebody comes and preaches to you you learn the word you go and preach and that other person who you preach to learns the word and then he goes and preach every time right yes in the same way it is i go and tell all the worldly things to someone that someone will go and tell the worldly things to someone that's called gossiping praise the lord thank you jesus hallelujah are you understanding yes praise god thank you jesus so i can differentiate between the knowledge of god and the knowledge of evil i i i can differentiate right yes because the knowledge which is contradicting to the word of god is called the knowledge which is contradicting to the word of god is the knowledge of evil if you know that you know that's how jesus was he knew the voice of the stranger and the voice of god he knew the voice of the good shepherd and the voice of the stranger and that's why he was prepared and that's why whenever the devil came he had the word to fight Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you understanding? Yes, praise God. Thank you Jesus.
Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So Jesus, okay, you see the example of Jesus. Jesus, it says, embrace the joy, uh, embrace the cross with joy. It says that because Jesus had joy. And what is joy? Knowing the end result in the beginning. He knew the end result in the beginning. Right? He knew that we will be saved. He knew that we will have eternal life. He knew that we had everlasting life. He knew all those things. And that's why he embraced the cross with joy. He went through that process with joy. He experienced that process with joy. And that's how we need to be in times of trouble, in times of situation. I need to encounter trials with joy. And how will I get that joy? Only through the knowledge of God. And what is the knowledge of God? Through his word. Right? Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Is it clear? Yes. Praise God. So I can have two knowledge, right? And, you know, people can give me knowledge. You know, when a person comes and preaches to you about the gospel, that is the knowledge of God, right? It is the knowledge of God. If somebody comes and preaches to you, he's sharing the gospel. And then you learn that and you go and share. It's just that you're doing it with the word. It all starts with the knowledge though. How much knowledge am I feeding myself? And the devil is trying to feed ourselves with the wrong knowledge. The knowledge which is contradicting to the word of God. He's trying to feed ourselves somehow by an object, a problem or something. Or like comics, newspapers, they're all things. Or through a person, he's trying to feed ourselves with fear. Knowledge of fear, knowledge of darkness, which is contradicting to the word of God. But I, I, can, I, I have a, 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 a thing. I can uh, accept the knowledge so I can reject that knowledge. I can accept what it says or I can reject it. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And God cannot force me of doing this, nor the devil can force me. It is my decision. It is my choice. And that's how, because God loves us, he gave us the freedom of choice. He gave us freedom to choose. Do we want life, death, blessing, and cursing? You know, anybody who's running after blessing, He's a big failure because he should run after life. When he choose life, automatically blessings will come. You know, the thing is, blessings are only an empowerment by God to succeed. Nothing else. But life, blessings will come as well as you will get to have a relationship with God. And same with that. And that's how the... the the curse came from Adam, from the law of sin, and that it came on Adam and Eve, the curse on human beings. It came, God never cursed us, but it is that from the law of sin and that the curse came into this world. Because through the death, through the law of sin and death, it has redeemed us from that curse of that law. Curse of the law of this law of sin and death. He has redeemed us. And what has he done? He has given us a, a, a new life. Life means a connection with God where everything is provided. Blessings are provided. Uh, empowerment is provided. Healing is provided. Everything what I need is provided. To live an abundant life. Uh, to have a, you know, when I have a connection with God, everything else comes into manifestation. When I'm operating in the law of spirit of life in Christ Jesus, everything else comes into manifestation. Just like the law of sin and death. We will learn on this one day, but uh, now just to give you an outline, the law of spirit of life in Christ Jesus, through that law of spirit of life in Christ Jesus, so I have life, 
I have a relationship with God. I have a connection with God. That's how blessings, everything I can experience in my life. Then why did Jesus come to give us life? Not just life, life in abundance. John 10, 10. The thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. Means he comes to kill. Means spiritual death. He comes, us, comes to blind us. And that's why the people of this world are blind because they're fed with the knowledge of this world. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you understanding? Yes? Praise God. Any questions? Anything you want to ask? You want me to repeat? Anything? No? Okay. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, we can end today's session. Praise God. We'll do an ending prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, for teaching us this wonderful truth. This truth, Lord, help us to keep it in our hearts. Never, ever, ever to forget it, Lord. And we bind every knowledge which is contradicting to your word to enter into us and to dominate us, Lord. We bind it, we rebuke it, and we cast it into the depth of the sea in Jesus' name. It has no power over us. Lord, we are anointed. We are protected by your shield, by your blood. And we are, we are, we are trained only to speak the knowledge of God, to share the gospel, Lord. To speak your word, to meditate your word, and to do according to your word, Lord. And we thank you and we praise you in the glorious and mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. We can pray in tongues. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We can enter this session. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Have a blessed the Lord. Lord. Have a blessed Bless day. Yeah, you too have a blessed day. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 God bless you. God bless you too. Bye, Alison. Have a blessed day. Bye, bye, Alison. Bye, brother. Bye, bye. 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 Have a nice, bye. blessed day. You too. Bye. 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 Yeah, praise the Lord. Bye. Have a blessed day. God loves you. I love you too. Bye. 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 Bye, Enoch. Where did you live, Enoch? In between.